Almost 2,000 years ago this man ran for his life as a volcanic eruption destroyed a city Now archaeologists have discovered his mangled remains But it wasn't lava from Mount Vesuvius that killed this unfortunate resident of the Italian town of Pompeii and now experts have unraveled his terrifying last moments the story began in 79 AD when Pompeii was at the height of its popularity Founded over half a century earlier the city which was located close to where Naples is today had become part of the Roman Republic in 89 BC At this point many of the Empire's influential citizens began building villas in the area During the years preceding the eruption Pompeii had grown in scale and grandeur Indeed vast structures such as an aqueduct and an amphitheater sprang up around the city Meanwhile, the fertile land surrounding the settlement was put to good use, producing delicacies such as olive oil and wine. All in all, Pompeii was then at its peak, and its 11,000 citizens seemed set, on the whole, to enjoy relatively long and prosperous lives. However, all that changed on August 24th, when Mount Vesuvius, a volcano sitting just five miles away, erupted. As a result, the city found itself beneath a deadly shower of ash and volcanic rock. In the ensuing chaos some 2,000 people lost their lives and when those who had managed to escape the carnage returned to the city They found that little remained of their former homes Instead they abandoned Pompeii and for more than 1600 years this once grand metropolis lay all but forgotten beneath a thick layer of ash However in 1738 workmen were laying the foundations of a new palace for Charles of Bourbon the ruler of Naples when they stumbled upon some interesting remains these turned out to be what was left of Herculaneum another town that had been buried in the same eruption and Ten years later excavations by Roch Joaquin de Elcubert a Spanish engineer revealed what was left of Pompeii Amazingly those early archaeologists discovered something incredible Beneath the dust that had settled on the city Pompeii remained pretty much intact in fact as terror had descended on its citizens thousands of years ago the ash had a preservative effect freezing the moment forever in time Apparently the remains of Pompeii were so well preserved that many of the streets and buildings looked just as they had back in 79 AD Moreover the victim skeletons littered the town lying in the same positions as when the fatal eruption struck Because of Pompeii's remarkable state of preservation the site has been a huge draw for archaeologists over the years and As time passed their techniques and equipment have grown even more sophisticated in turn these advances have led to even more fascinating revelations about the city and its tragic fate in May of 2018 experts working at the Pompeii archaeological park announced that they had made a shocking discovery in a newly excavated part of the city they found the remains of a man who was soon dubbed the unluckiest guy in history indeed this individual appeared to have been crushed to death while attempting to flee the eruption apparently scientists believed that the man survived the eruption only to be killed while trying to make his escape It seems at that point a cloud of volcanic rock and hot gas known as a pyroclastic flow Emerged from Mount Vesuvius it then descended on the city at an incredible speed leaving a trail of destruction in its wake When archaeologists discovered these new remains they found that they weren't intact Indeed the victim's head was missing presumably crushed under the huge rock that was embedded in its place at first they theorized that the pyroclastic flow had picked up the stone and thrown it with great force towards the victim ultimately causing his death a Formidable stone block perhaps a door jam violently thrown by the volcanic cloud collided with his upper body crushing his highest part of his thorax and Yet to be identified head which probably lies under the stone block Archaeologists explained in a statement announcing the find Thought to have been at least 30 years old the man was found sprawled out on the first story of a structure and on closer examination Experts realized that his remains showed evidence of an infected leg bone perhaps explaining why he was unable to move fast enough to escape However, while the world's press lamented the victims unfortunate death Archaeologists continued to excavate the area where his remains were found and just one month later. They made another announcement Apparently the man might not have lost his life to a flying rock after all in fact, when they dug deeper, archaeologists discovered the man's head, and it was surprisingly intact. Apparently, an 18th century tunnel created during early excavations of Pompeii had collapsed. The resulting fall took the skeleton's skull, along with its rib cage and arms, with it. And by the time that the remains were discovered centuries later, 
they had taken on a distinctly decapitated appearance But if an enormous flying projectile didn't kill the man what did? Apparently the vast majority of deaths in Pompeii were a result not of the eruption, but of the pyroclastic flow and Sadly experts believe this victim probably met with a similar fate suffocating as a result of gases reaching a terrifying 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit in a June 2018 interview with National Geographic magazine Benjamin Andrews from the Smithsonian Institution's global volcanism project described pyroclastic flow as a superheated hurricane force wind carrying ash and rock that can destroy anything in its path as a result he said the victims last moments would not have been pleasant but despite meeting that gruesome fate almost 2,000 years ago the man may still have things to tell us about his death and life apparently recent excavations have also revealed that the victim died while clutching a purse full of coins to his chest indeed he had enough money it seems to support a small family for a fortnight moreover the man's bones show signs of damage this gives archaeologists hope that closer study could tell them more about how the victim died the bones display some fractures the nature of which will be identified explained a June 2018 statement from the Pompeii archaeological park the results of those tests will hopefully allow researchers to reconstruct the final moments in his life with greater accuracy Check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel All you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching